Sandy and I want to welcome you to our 102 Thieves class. We're coming to you from the Northern Lights Black Spruce Farm. I wish you could be here to share with us this experience. It's, we can't wait. We haven't been to the farm yet, but that's where we're headed. But we feel when you walk out of this class, you're going to have a completely different perspective about how to clean your home, why it's so critical to kick those unclean ingredients to the curb. This class centers around the Young Living Thieves line. So let's take a look at what a Young Living home looks like. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday. Quadruplets, they're nine years old, and my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. So having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up, to clean up, some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry and doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or an aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we can live without thieves. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so one thing we'd like to do as you join us, would you please put your your sound on mute because it does reflect onto everybody else being able to hear. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, what I'd like to do now is share a couple of our testimonies. I want to start with I had a group over for Bunko one night white linen tablecloth on my dining room table. Gail spilled a glass of red wine across the whole top of it. She about freaked out. She felt so horrible. I said, that's okay. I picked up the tablecloth, walked it over to the sink, sprayed it down with the thieves household cleaner. And they kept saying, that's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. They all stood there, 12 women stood there and watched the red wine disappear, disappear off of my white linen tablecloth. What do you have to share, Sandy? Well, um, I clean a lot of houses and businesses. Um, I used to clean a lot of them, a lot more, but I've started to phase that out. But I, um, as my other job, that's what I did. And I used really harsh chemicals because I thought that was the only way to get rid of that hard surface. Um, our water is really hard up north. And so I would use a lot of harsh chemicals. And I noticed when I was scrubbing showers and stuff like that, and I had to step into it, I would be choking and coughing and could hardly breathe. And I also started noticing that my hands were getting little red blisters on them, little tiny blisters. Um, and this was even with wearing gloves. And so the Thieves Household Cleaner, when it was first introduced, or when I, when I first started using it, I was a little bit skeptical, and I thought, well, it's really not going to get the hard surface film off. And so I was a really hard sell. But finally, I started using it, um, I think just one day because my other stuff ran out. So I decided I would give it a try. And I was shocked. It actually made everything as sparkling and clean 
if not better than the other stuff. And what I really was impressed with is when I was in the shower scrubbing, I could breathe and I wasn't coughing and choking. And so I started just using that um, a lot, like just that without the harsh chemicals. And what I really noticed was I no longer got those little blisters on the backs of my hands and I actually didn't even wear gloves. So I don't wear gloves. I never get any kind of skin irritations and I can breathe freely. It's wonderful. And that's all I use in my own home now and for any of other cleaning jobs that I do. You mentioned shower. What we do, and I live in Texas and we have a lot, our showers down there usually have a lot of tile or a lot of glass. In my case, I have that glass. So what we do is we have a spray bottle of the Thieves Cleaner right in the shower. When we get done, we spritz the glass in the walls and we squeegee it. And truthfully, I don't have to clean my shower that often, y'all. Plus, my husband always says, man, we have to have the best smelling bathroom in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Another thing, too, I really want to share at how versatile this product is, is when our Suburban was brand new, I was going down the road to go pick up my grandson from preschool, and two vehicles ahead of me, a pickup truck lost a whole gallon of white latex paint. There was nowhere to go but to run over it. And yes, I had paint all up and down both sides of my Suburban as well as the front. Mind you, this was a brand new vehicle. I about panicked, but I had to go get my grandson. By the time we got home, 45 minutes later or so, I was freaking out because I thought, how in the world am I going to get this off, right? Well, lo and behold, Dave's Household Cleaner, we sprayed it down and it loosened up all of that latex paint. Took us a while, but every bit of that paint was removed from the Suburban. I would not be without this product for anything. It's done some really amazing cleaning jobs that I don't think anything else could really tackle right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at some statistics. According to the cancer.org site, what does it say, Sandy? Well, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year, or 1,670 deaths a day. One in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60. Cancer is the second most common death, exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society also says only 5% of these cases are actually from gene defects. So that means they're, those are the ones that are genetic. That means 90 to 95% are under our control. Causes by excess weight, tobacco, or exposure to toxic chemicals. It's what we're allowing in our homes, folks. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients. 314 caused biological mutations, 218 caused reproductive problems, 146 that they knew of caused cancerous tumors, but were allowed in the United States, even though they were banned in other countries around the world. What happens? 26 seconds after exposure, chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body, and 80 of those are just before breakfast. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners, like plug-ins or candles, Yes. Yeah, she said candles, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, drain, and oven cleaners, furniture polish, dishwasher soap, and dish soap are also culprits. If you're on, would you please silence your computer or your your um your voiceover, please? Yeah, just thank you. Mute. Just, just mute. Just hit mute. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think the number one poison? in the family home is. It is laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets. You're poisoned three ways. As you are washing your clothes, it's filling your home with chemicals. Then you wear your clothes all day long and have topical exposure to your skin. Then the clothes outgas all night long in your closet as you sleep. And you breathe those chemicals in. If you make this, this one swap, Boy, that's a mouthful. When you go home to the thieves' laundry soap, I feel 
we did, did exactly what this class has been designed to do. Other dangers in the home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant. Deodorant with aluminum is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Hello. That information about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from a government study called U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. Let me say that again in case you didn't catch that. It's from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. Yes, we didn't just make this stuff up. So what happens when your body is chemically overloaded? Most of us, it makes, it makes us feel lethargic, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, and fear. If you face any of those issues, it's time to kick harsh chemicals to the curb. You can control what you allow within the four walls of your home. You can cross some things off the list by going as close to toxic chemical free as you can in your home. My journey started with Young Living oils, but I'm telling you, Young Living is will not or may not change your life. But I'm telling you, if one of your triggers is harsh chemicals, uh, if you know my story, right? possibly in something you're slathering on your skin, breathing in, or consuming. It's time to get some of those things out of your house. My favorite place to start is with the Seed to Seal Promise on our 600 products at Young Living. Oh yeah, what is Seed to Seal? It's the standard of purity for Young Living. It means no chemical overload. You can trust the name. Young Living is an essential oil based company out of you it company that is based rather out of utah the one thing that sets us apart from all of the all other oil companies really is our seed to seal promise let me break down what seed to seal actually means and i'm telling you what you visit a farm and this is going to just blow your socks off when you see because we visually get to see it with our own eyes but young living they do not strip constituents to make the oil smell better and they do not mix species of the same oil, and they do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use genetically modified seeds. They spend 12,000, yep, 12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for that same lavender plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying the pesticides is so much cheaper than hand weeding. We do not distill also with solvents. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. We harvest at the exact time of day um, that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. We know that when that peak is because of the, our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest globally compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six continents. Very young new helichrysum oil, essential oil. Um, just sorry, if you have just joined us, can you just please hit mute if you know where, if you don't know how, then just be extra quiet. But, um, anyway, Gary Young grew helichrysum essential oil at St. Mary's in Idaho, then Mona in Utah, then the Mediterranean country of Croatia to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't grow it where it grows natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most efficient, effective oil for the body. Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them yourself just like we're going to be visiting the northern lights black spruce farm any of our farms you can visit because young living is transparent did you know that they test eight times every oil at the farm then again at spanish fork where the oil is bottled in utah then again after bottling they do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oils meet our standards 
Then they go and do a third party testing with two accredited, respected independent labs. So Young Living Oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were actually hand trained by Gary Young himself. Now, one thing I think that's really important to know that these other labs that are testing, it's really important because the equipment meets what actually needs to be measured. They are not um, just fly by night little labs that have been set up like what is actually going on currently right now. Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means those that, that use the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. Young Living is about integrity, hard work and high standards that my friends is seed to seal and that is why young living is different we are more than 25 years old which means a really it's really unique for and special for an essential oil company that is global i want you to check out this one minute video to see the heart of young living and view the farms from home So what are essential oils? Okay, they are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it is being attacked or injured. We can use oils in the house to replace our harsh chemicals. So why would you want to use oils in your home? Oils have no yuck. They have none of that stuff. They are just a distilled or cold fresh plant. There are millions of uses such as supporting your systems in the body, like your cardiovascular system or your endocrine system, which is your hormones, by the way. It supports your joints, your brain, or your liver. They are also used to replace cleaning supplies. Thieves Cleaner is all I use to wipe down my bathrooms, my stove, my kitchen. I even mop my floors with it. It's made of plants and essential oils. You can use oils to replace your personal care products, Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, face washes that are completely harsh chemical free. If you use oil infused supplements, you get the benefit of the supplement along with the power of the oil. And it, and it actually gets into your cells much easier. It does matter where your oils are sourced. There are four types of oils on the earth. 
Grade A is authentic. Grade B is manipulated. Grade C, perfume. Grade D is synthetic. It is really, really important that you only use the grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. You know, it's really just like eating an entire apple tree that's been sprayed with pesticide instead of one apple. It makes absolutely no sense to go the extra mile to get away from harsh chemicals and then turn around and use oil laden with chemicals. So let's take a look at a powerful video that shows the effect of spraying crops. This study was done out of Sweden and is based on food. Essential oils are so much more concentrated. Well, you know, when it takes about 60,000 rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil, the concentration of that pesticide that's sprayed on those plants, it gets so much higher. So look at one month of cleaning, eating, and getting rid of harsh chemicals. Just think of what it can do for the level of chemical exposure to the human body. Most of the body's grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. It costs more than normal mat. It becomes a big difference when you are many in family. But for the next two weeks, the palm bugs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We get that from for all insects, medel, swamp medel and straw verkorkningsmedel. They eat insects medel. Ah, excellent. Ah. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced. They're eating only organic. Then Another round of samples are taken, and now almost all the pesticides have disappeared. We know very little about the long-term effects of eating the food that has been spread. Especially with the fact that studies have shown that chemical combination can be long term harmful than chemical in and of itself. When you hear this, you think first of all about the children. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Okay. Wow, that was so, incredible. I know. It just kind of makes you really double think of it, doesn't it? So let's take a look at the power of seeds. I'm going to show you how it cleans. Actually, Sammy and I are going to show you how it cleans. Look at these before and after pictures of the power of this product. I remember some of Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> We're on the road. Right, we're just going to scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple. It's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grab some baking soda. It's sure baking soda and thieves. No, we're not going to use all of these thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And yep, just like a little sprinkle. Put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. So you can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. Mm, wow. So if it's something that I just cook, I put a couple of drops of lemon, and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it off, this is my go-to. Pick up even more, and she wants a nice, good taste. Oh. We're gonna take it over to the sink, just do a good rinse on it, and then I'm following the pan. Lots of 
obviously after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. Are you in five, four, three, two, bam! Please clean up to the rescue. Making sure to make the piece also clean up. Easy. Okay, here we go. Now we're on track. Okay, this is the same that was cleaned with piece cleaner and just the household basically spray bottle, right? It was cleaned with a sponge and a few sprays of the cleaner in under two minutes. The sink got rid of this is all my slides are off, guys, but oh well. We'll get to the sink in a minute, okay? The cleaner got rid of the lime buildup under the sink and knobs, and there was absolutely no hard scrubbing on it at all. There we go, we're on track now. The hard water stains in a sink scrub with the diluted Thieves cleaner in a spray bottle. The cleanup took only a few minutes. Look, no harsh chemicals were used. Cool. Isn't that cool? Okay, look at this tub. The first photo at the top shows the hard water stains in a tub that could not be removed with half a dozen harsh chemical, chemical cleaners. The second photo at the bottom shows the thieves, the thieves cleaner to the rescue again. In this instance, the owner made a paste with thieves cleaner and baking soda and let it sit on the tub walls for 15 minutes and it came right off. So, what is thieves cleaner used for? Here are 12 ideas. I'm going to run through these really, really fast. Put an undiluted, put undiluted into a roll-on and make a stain stick for your clothing with no harsh chemicals. Pour it into spots on your carpet, undiluted, and get rid of stains. Let it sit on pots and pans with burnt food stuck to the bottom. Put a cap of it in a spray bottle and use it as a surface cleaner for your kitchen, bathrooms, counters, sinks, your stove, or your bathtub. Add some to a bucket of hot water and mop your floors with it. Put a little thieves cleaner in some baking soda and make your own soft scrub without any harsh chemicals that you can use in your oven. Refresh a musty carpet by putting thieves oil in some baking soda, let it absorb, and then sprinkle it over your carpet. After washing your clothes, try adding thieves with thieves laundry soap. Add four to five drops to a dry washcloth and toss it in the dryer to make your clothes smell fresh. Put one drop of thieves on anything sticky. Put it on, put the drop on of thieves on anything that is stuck to an object or for that matter, a child, but you will find it immediately wipes off. Clean your dishwasher by running an empty cycle of Thieves Household Cleaner. Add a drop to the cardboard insert of your toilet paper rolls and your bathroom will have Thieves freshness. Oh, that's a cool idea. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yep. Thieves is some of the best glass cleaner replacement I've ever seen. Spray it right on your window or to take gunk off. It's also great for detailing cars and cleaning the dashboard. I actually did that just last week. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about why we just mentioned the Thieves oil because that is what is in the Thieves household cleaner. Here are five uses for Thieves essential oil. Put some on your feet and spine for immune support. You can dilute it with coconut or olive oil, or if you're putting it on your kids, use the Young Living um, V6 Oreo, if I prefer the V6. I don't know what We've always use. just used it straight, but yeah. you can dilute it if your kids are more sensitive or right. you have more sensitive skin. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the history of thieves. It is a blend of clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon. It's based on the legend of the four thieves in France, dating from the time of the outbreak of the bubonic plague. The century after century, from the 1300s to the 1700s, these outbreaks were claiming half of the population of Europe. There was a nasty, nasty outbreak in, 19, in rather 1593 and 1608. About that time, an aromatic legend, legend rather developed a brew called the Marcel's Vinegar or Four Thieves Vinegar. As the history has it, the group allegedly confessed this is what they used for protection against the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead. 
there are a variety of recipes out there, but they included rosemary tops, dried sage flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic, cloves, and vinegar, which were to steep for seven to eight days. The vinegar was noted in a number of famous medical, medical books published later, um, including the Pharmacologia, however you say that word, from 1825. This page is a snippet from that original book from almost 200 years ago. I'm just saying, I'm glad I'm not the only one that has trouble pronouncing words now and again. Pharmacologia. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> D. Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, is the most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status that it has today. He created the Thieves Blend in 1994 for immune support as a result of his study in Warwick University in London. This next video, it's the latest from the Centers for Disease Control with, and Prevention. Of course, we're all very well aware of that right now. It's called the CDC, and it's going to show us ways of the, to mitigate the, the spread of um, well, actually, this is Dr. Book, isn't yeah. it? Dr. Book? Oh, I love hearing from Dr. Book. How about you? Oh, amazing. Yeah, He's going to, many have asked about the Young Living's um, hand sanitizer and why it is different. Um, it, if it, if, well, I don't know, but it's the alcohol that they're talking about, right? Oh, right. The other so thing, our, oh, go ahead. there's been a controversy over whether ours works because they, you know, because of the alcohol content. Well, ours is denatured using peppermint oil which makes all of the difference you get the power of the alcohol with the ingredients you want to see so let's let's listen to dr mike and by the way he's young living's chief science officer for those of you that don't know and if you haven't seen him before he's everybody's favorite he's <laughs> Hi everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC or the Center for Disease Control website, and they have some really good recommendations on how you can mitigate transmitting uh, diseases. One of the main things they recommend is hand washing, believe it or not. They recommend using a good soap, I just happen to have one here. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this underwater, and that's actually wrong because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands, when the important part of our hands to clean are the surfaces that touch things. So it's the fingertips and the thumb. So we should really be doing this underwater. And the CDC says to use a good soap under running water for at least 20 seconds. You really scrub your fingertips and then scrub under your nails and then rinse thoroughly because that's how we transmit disease. We tend to touch things and then touch our faces. And particularly, touching your eyes is a great way to get an infection. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap and water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%, like our thieves hand sanitizers. And again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer to thoroughly wet your hands and then rubbing your hands and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry to let that alcohol have a good effect. And finally, they also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. And they recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol, like our thieves spray. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. So I hope you will all practice these tips and we can really avoid transmission of pathogens. Hi everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about the transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC Center for Disease Control. Here we go. This is Nancy Chicken from my counter. Okay, let's see This is interesting. Very interesting. But these things do the past. And then we're going to do the first test just to um, see that it's dirty. Just to swab the surface, and then when I put it into the little solution, it will turn a color. Green means clean, and then the darker purple it gets, the dirtier it is. So I snap it into the solution, and then I'll 
15 going. There we go. And she get for five seconds. And you can see it's a dark purple. So it's contaminated. It's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. And you can let it do that quickly. So let you can juice that. And spray it down for these. This is what we use everywhere in our house, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, it's all we use. It's everything in the rooms. I have always trusted that it works, but I know a lot of people kind of wanted proof. It's kind of hard to believe that cleaning with plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you find in the grocery store. Okay, so you've wiped it down with Steve's cleaner. Now about the second. A slug. Oh, wait. You're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So, um, because that's the dry surface now, I'm just letting it be Now I can solve it. Okay. And again, just sucking it into the solution. And shake. And now you can see it's green. So the green means clean, and as you can see, that was the purple when it was contaminated, and then the green after the deep. So those test swabs that she was using are the same types of tests used in food industry to test for unclean counters near food prep areas. Um, and she made up a spray bottle of the Thieves Cleaner, one cap of cleaner to a spray bottle of water, and then she rubbed that raw chicken, as you can see, on her counter to see if the thieves could get it clean. Well, wow, that's, that's impressive. Okay, many of you that do have the oil starter kit in there was a packet of Thieves Cleaner. So if you have not tried the Thieves Cleaner, this is the perfect time. I want you to grab the cleaner currently under your kitchen counter if you can reach it. And I want you to look at the label. If there's an ingredient you don't know, tap it into Google and put the words danger of right along with it. Start to look at what you're breathing in or slathering on your skin. I want you to know your home and then I want you to protect your home. It doesn't matter how clean it is if you can't afford to use it. A thieves is affordable. Let's break it down. It is time for a quick math lesson. We've oh, already... I'm glad that you've given the math lesson, <laughs> not me. <laughs> so we've already covered history and science. So you're getting a full school day in. I'm not terribly quick on my feet when it comes to calculating costs of products at the grocery store. But thieves is a no brainer. It is significantly cleaner than green cleaners and even cheaper than chemical cleaners. One of the top organic brands is 27 cents an ounce. Thieves Cleaner comes in for the win at five cents an ounce. That's US, I, I'm not sure what the calculation is in Canada, but I'm sure it's very close. So with one bottle, I can make 25 diluted spray bottles. Each bottle lasts me about a week or more, depending on how much you clean. Can you get 25 spray bottles of cleaner for $22? I don't, I don't think, think so. So simply add one capful of the concentrate thieves cleaner to a spray bottle of water and you're off and running. It's the cheapest green cleaner out there and it does work. This is one simple swap that will completely revolutionize how you clean and how you toss the most harsh chemicals under, away uh, that are under your sink. Young Living doesn't just have a thieves starter kit. It has an entire line of Thieves products. The Thieves cleaning bucket, laundry soap, bar soap, cough drops, dental floss, dish soap, dishwasher powder, fruit and veggie wash, and there are even Thieves wipes. Thieves really is, a, is so good at preserving the fruits and vegetables. I've always been blown away after using the Thieves fruit and veggie wash. It's just, it just takes all that grime off of the produce and it's 
the water looks really bad too. So you'll know you're really getting it clean. But here's the story of two pumpkins. Look at this. One pumpkin was sprayed with thieves. The other was not. One is happy and one is not. Okay, as you're putting the gro as I was putting the groceries, by the way, I'm quoting somebody. As she was putting away her groceries, she put each fruit or veggie out and then popped it into a large bowl of water with a cap full of the wash. It helps to get the gunk and dirt off the produce, but before, you know, before she puts it in the fridge. She let it soak about five minutes right around in there while she's putting her other groceries away. So in other words, what we're telling you is this is fast, easy, and it really isn't time consuming. Mm -hmm. She just kind of slides it into when she puts her groceries away. What I love is washing apples in the thieves spray cleaner because it not only does it keep them from going brown, it gives them a nice little hint of a cinnamon taste. Oh, it's so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you are overloaded with the concept of oiling, really thieves is a brilliant place to start. Oils really are the gateway, though, to our natural health. They are like a fast food natural health. So you apply and you carry on. If you don't have a starter kit yet, then I highly recommend the Young Living Thieves Premium Starter Kit. The price and product in the kit are different in Canada and the US, but starting this way is the best because you then buy a full, buy all future product at wholesale price. So let's look at the products that are in the kit. Thieves Cleaner, a quick little hack. What I love is you get a roll-on bottle out and you fill it with the undiluted Thieves Cleaner and then you use it as a stain stick. And you know what, guys? This is really, really handy when you travel, especially if you have little kids. I personally use it as a spot treatment and then I just toss it right into the washing machine. And then when I get home, you know, so it's been on there. It sits for a while. It could be days before I actually get my laundry done. But when I combine it with the Thieves Laundry Soap, the yellow, it really is clean. Thieves Hand Soap. Oops. Well, when we get to that slide. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so use one in the kitchen, use one in the bathroom. You, you'll get a Thieves Hand Soap in your, in your starter kit. One of the things I love about this soap is that it's foaming. That means a little goes a very long way. And if you have more than one person in your home washing their hands, this lasts a lot longer than a liquid soap. Thieves Hand Sanitizer, one of my most favorite, favorite products that we have. I have this everywhere in my house. I also have, always have it in my car. I have it in my purse. I have it in my hands when I get to the gas station. Immediately, I am you know, putting it on my hands. If you go through a drive through you forget a napkin, or you just want your hands to feel clean, this product is amazing. It is also great for your kids' backpacks, along with all of your vehicles. Hand, hand, thieves hand sanitizer kills, get this, 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. Just like Dr. Mike said, if you're not near a water source to wash your hands, the CDC recommends a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. The Thieves Hand Sanitizer fits that bill and doesn't come with harsh ingredients, so you know you are picking the best for your family. And what I love is that it doesn't dry your hands out because it has power. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that also, by the way, that... The hand sanitizer, that's another great spot remover if you're out and about and you get something on your shirt, your tie, whatever, and then it's like magic. Mm -hmm. Thieves toothpaste, my personal tooth care regimen for brushing my teeth with Thieves toothpaste, flossing with Thieves floss, then 60 second swish with Thieves mouthwash. My teeth feel so clean. My dentist is very impressed. Okay, let's look at the next product, which is... The Thieves Mouthwash. This is a product I super, 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 super like. It is so intense because it both has cinnamon vitality oil and the Pro Vitality oil in it. But it's also really super good for sensitive teeth. So if you have that, you are going to like this product. 
The mouthwash is free from alcohol, synthetic dyes, and any artificial flavors, which makes it a safe choice, even for kids and teens. I personally dilute ours 50% just because it's just strong. It's, you know, you can dilute it down. You don't need to use this full strength. But here's some interesting information for you. It also contains collided colloidal, colloidal, thank you, so, to my rescue again, silver. Okay, so that means if you know what that is, you are not to worry if you swallow that by accident and it goes down your throat. Actually, currently, you may want to swallow this bit of mouthwash. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Deep spray. What do you think of that one? I'm always stunned at the places I find to use this spray. Pro tip. Spray your shopping cart handles with it in the store or keep it in your bag and spray your doorknobs and bathroom stall toilets stall handles. However, if you spray your hands, everything you touch becomes sanitized. Yep, it's just an automatic. And Barbara just went around our hotel room and sprayed everything. So we, just, <laughs> we are in a nice sanitized hotel room. We sure are. Okay, Thieves Mints. Okay, let's just sum this one up like um, stinky breath? Yeah. Yeah. Stinky not, breath. Or not stinky breath. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thieves. Okay, go ahead. Get some of this on your feet at night or in the diffuser or both. This is absolutely my favorite oil for boosting the immune system. I have so many testimonies of this one. Nature Red. If I had to pick one young living supplement, this seriously would be the one I would pick. To sum Nature Red up in one word, it would be antioxidants. Um, what is that all about, by the way? Hmm. Well, if you haven't been introduced to Nature Red yet or have not seen the YouTube video I have done on Ninja Red, please contact me for the link. Everybody should be drinking Ninja Red. Absolutely everybody. You need to have stress away there. There we go. All of this is really what you get. And you know, you get that whole bottle of thieves, you can open it up, you can diffuse it, and you can again um, put it on your feet. It comes in both the US and the Canadian kits, but we want you to realize that I'm in Canada with Sandy She. The Canada kit and again the American kit are a little bit different, but Really, we just can't wait for everybody to start wiping down even just your kitchen to begin with because I can promise you, you are never going to look back. So the slide you're seeing right now is the Thieves Essential Rewards Bundle. So they have bundled this together and they've discounted it if you're on Essential Rewards so that it's just an easy way to get all of your cleaning needs. Yeah, this is really, I think, um, actually it makes it more discounted. Mm -hmm. Really, if you buy it this way, doesn't it? It's just great for making it really simple to swap out your cleaning products and getting that yuck out of your home. It's just deeply discounted if you buy it this way. You have to be on Essential Rewards to purchase this bundle at this value price, though. So what you get is laundry soap, bar soap, dish soap, the whitening toothpaste. I just absolutely love that toothpaste. And, um, you know, the home cleaning kit, too, with a cleaning bucket is another way you can get it, too. But essential rewards, hey, okay, so what is that? What is that, Sandy? Well, it's the way you can save the most on your thieves' products. Yeah, it's affordable for sure. And, you know, when you get your thieves' starter kit, Really, you're getting 24% off all your future purchases for life. You do not have to renew to can retain a wholesale membership like you do at Costco or Sam's, those types of places. But when you sign up for Essential Rewards, what that means is Young Living is going to ship to you monthly products that you have picked out that you want to receive. And right off the bat, you're going to get 10% 
off of that wholesale price to in the very beginning. So that means Young Living is paying you 10% back for buying your laundry and dish soap, and there are no harsh chemicals inside any of them. After four months, you get 20% back. After 25 months, you get 25% back just for buying your cleaning products from Young Living. There is absolutely no grocery store that does that. And if you are on AR, before you close out getting your first essential rewards or your first, excuse me, um, starter kit, you can add this to the essential rewards order and you get money back for that also. Yeah, you know, I was in Target the other day, Sandy, and when I was paying, the girl said, oh, do you have a red card? I said, yes, I do. And she goes, oh, well, let's scan it because, boy, you're going to get 1% back from what you just purchased. And I thought to myself, 1%? I mean, people get excited about that when I'm getting 25% back for everything I buy from Young Living. I just, that just, it really stuck out for me because really seriously, the Essential Reboot Program is a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. It really is a serious no-brainer. Who turns down free money? I don't do no, and yeah. you can cancel at any time. So really, it is a no-brainer. Start off with your kit at um, on Essential Rewards, and if you decide it's not for you, you can cancel it at any time. Yeah, and I want to just kind of remind you that if you do not have an account with Young Living, please get with the person that invited you to this class. That is super important because you really want to do be with rather the person that invited you, because that's your personal contact. That is who you really want to, to enroll with. But let's wrap up with the science of thieves. This is one of my favorite parts. So this is where you start. So is something in this, has something in this class convicted you? Did something hit you in the gut? Was it the figures? of what might possibly be in your home? Is it what is in this product that interests you? But I really want you to consider using these and caring for your, your family and clean your home. It's just gonna be very different than cleaning with those harsh chemicals. And seriously, Sandy and I were alongside you and we can train you and your friends and your all families to have a toxic free living, have toxic free living rather, because I just know you're going to fall in love with thieves and want harsh chemical free for your entire family, your mom, your best friend, everyone that you know. My goal really is for you to place your oils order free forever. So with that, you really don't want to burden your budget, right? Young Living has a business site to the company and i tell you what if you invite four of your friends sign they sign up and get a kit your starter kit with young living is actually free so i want you to realize that again this company can provide you with a fabulous business opportunity and you can get your parks products paid for or you can even make more money than that both sandy and i are willing to come and we can help teach you or help you learn how to educate your circle of friends and give them the blessing of the oils and the seed to seal products we can talk to you can actually talk to any either one of us really right to learn more and I know, seriously, I speak for both of us that Young Living is one of the best decisions we've both made for our family. So our goal really is that your order doesn't necessarily have to come out of your family business or your family budget, rather. So where do you start with all of this? Start small, start slow. Start with your convictions. Let me give you a simple tip. With your food, simply start by reading the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. It doesn't mean you can't have ice cream. Just go for the ice cream with milk, sugar, eggs, and vanilla instead of ingredients that list 35 items and most of them you can't pronounce. Learning to integrate the oils into your home, it really is all about taking those small, simple baby steps. You take it one month at a time. Maybe the first month you focus slowly on the thieves cleaner, tossing every other harsh chemical and cleaning supply under your sink. 
you know, just begin to wipe your kitchen down and fall in love with Dave's Household Cleaner. Just know that you at the same time are boosting your immune system instead of toxing your liver. So try next month, swap out some laundry soap for, or dish soap. Month three, focus on your personal care products like deodorant or shampoo. Month four, focus on beauty supplies like face wash. Every day you leave your makeup on, your skin ages by seven days. Use a toxic-free option to get it off. You know, I started this journey myself with the Young Living Again Oil Starter Kit, and I seriously have never looked back. We use the oils every single day in our home, and every single oil I use, I know that is toxic, harsh, chemical-free. You know... It really is where I began, and I don't know. I just think everybody really should start with either the oils or the Thieves Kit. What do you think, Sandy? Absolutely. It's the best value. Yeah. So I just want you to know that, you know, there really is a consequence to everything we breathe, everything we eat, and everything we put on our skin. We may not feel it immediately. But seriously, your safety and your family's safety is worth the swap. You have to know your home really seriously to protect your home. And what comes with that is careful label reading. Yeah, you, know, you matter. Your family matters. Your friends matter. It's time to start kicking toxic, harsh chemicals out of your life and start living clean. If you have not heard my story, I invite you to contact me or to listen to my story on, on YouTube. Harsh Chemicals is, that's my background. That's what's making me so ill. I just can't. I just seriously cannot talk enough and try to convince you enough how much better you will feel after 30 days of kicking harsh chemicals out of your home. Absolutely. You agree? Yeah, absolutely. So remember, again, to get back to the person who invited you to this video, or if you're listening to the replay, who shared the link with you, get back to that person and they can, they can lead you and guide you in how to get started. Um, or, you know, if you don't know, if you just happened upon this, training or video, then absolutely con contact Barbara Cassidy or myself, Sandy Sutton, um, and we would be happy to help you get started on your journey. And just want to say blessings 